Why do the voices of uh, the farmer and the dog bitter? So, um, no, I just turn up and make noises as, as required, and then I go home. So, no, do ask them that. But what inspired it? Uh, I think genius. Not mine, theirs. So, yeah, that's if, if you're wondering what inspires things like this. It's being very, very clever, very, very creative. I'd call it genius. How's that? Very nice, thank you. Okay. And, um, and how did you do the character then? Were you kind of watching the animation as you were making the, the noises as well? Uh, it's a mixture. Sometimes they've already put it together, so I'm it's post sync they call it. So I'm I'm kind of doing the voice to what I see, uh, which is a bit difficult because you've got to try and match the expression on the character's face and what the mouth is doing, uh, and you don't have any words, of course. It's all you know, that kind of thing. Um, easy to learn the lines. Um, so that's all right, but easier than that is if it's just what they call storyboarded. So they haven't yet animated it, so you've just got some pictures, some still shots, and they'll say, so this is what's going to be happening, and the director will talk me through what's required in this scene, so I'll, I'll do a whole load of stuff. And you can do loads of different takes, of course, and indeed I do. <laughs> it takes a few goes to get it right, or indeed close to right, which is what I'm aiming for. That's the nearest, best I can do, really. How long was the filming process? Oh. What did it take? Oh, look, there's a, oh, a wasp has come to join us. Not part of the cast, actually, that wasp. Um, how long does it take? Again, I, two years, three years. The animation, it's its a slow process because it's stop motion. So, well, you know how they do it. I think everybody knows how they do it. Uh, so, yeah, it takes a very, very long time. I mean, they're lucky if they if they shoot, what is it, 10 seconds in a week, 15 I mean, it's, it is seconds in a week. They'll correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it is really a very small amount of time. Um, so people like me just swan up for a few hours here and then and do stuff. And they're all slaving away, working very long days, uh, just moving these little models a fraction of an inch and then another fraction of an inch and so on. It's astonishing. Oh my gosh, and what do you think the appeal is? Because it appeals to both adults and children. Yeah, family entertainment. Um, well, it's funny. I mean, that's, that's generally appealing. And, I mean, they kind of... Even though the farmer is, um, <clears throat> he's sometimes what we call a wrong thinker. He, he, he doesn't have the best of motives, but generally it all comes good. And, and the friends, you know, Bitzer and Sean the sheep, they're all very supportive of each other, regardless of what actually happens eventually. It's a, so it's about, it's about love, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's about. And it's funny. Oh. Well, thank you very much for speaking with us. Enjoy your afternoon. Thank, thank you very much. You too. Cheers.